Okay, hi everybody. Um, first, let me say hi and, and thank you for uh, joining our team. Um, we are uh, so uh, glad to have uh, new members and uh, a lot of new things changing all the time within our organization. And so um, with that comes a, a need to uh, do some training and, and get people uh, acclimated to some of the things that we do. So one of those is Matrix. So let's uh, show you Matrix. Let me pull it open. You would have received a link uh, like that via text message from us or uh, maybe accessed it through our team site or something. But anyway, so <coughs> let us uh, talk about Matrix. Matrix is the brain of our opera operation. It uh, pretty much controls everything. If uh, if it's not in matrix, it doesn't exist to us. It, it uh, it's your schedule. It's the way for you to clock in and out. It's the way for us to um, invoice our clients and to send them their schedules. Anyway, it's a super important software program for the day-to-day -day operations of our business. So, with that said, let us show you how to get into matrix. So, first, let's talk about your your username. Your username will be. Uh, typically your first initial and your last name. Um, some of you may be a little different than that because we might have some other employees that have your same first initial and your same last name. Um, in, in that event, you'll have a, a one or a two or something behind your username. So in this case, our um, aid uh, or our username today will be um, team interim. So uh, first initial T last name interim okay and then the password is going to be T interim okay so your first initial your last name one exclamation exclamation point so your password is your first initial your last name one exclamation point okay uh, and the tenant is going to be interim so you can type interim in there so to recap, your username, T interim, is be your first initial, and your last name, and then your password uh, is your first initial, your last name, one exclamation point, and then your tenant is interim. So I'm going to hit sign in here. Now I'm going to hit uh, not to save my password right now uh, because I want to show you what it looks like to create one. So your password must be at least six characters long. It does not need to have uppercase, and it does not need to have lowercase. Um, but it does need to have at least one letter, one number, and one special character. So <clears throat> for now I'm going to put in the old the old password. So T interim one exclamation point. Now I'm going to create one. Um, <clears throat> if your phone has the ability you can use this strong password feature. Um, those those don't want to use that or their phones don't offer that to them. Um, I'll show you how to do do your password. So uh, again, you want to make sure you have that special character and that and at least a number and a letter. So um, it doesn't really have to be great. Um, so let's just say password with uh, um, I don't know password with an at sign um, spelled out uh, one exclamation point. Um, Make sure you do it twice. All right, hopefully I put this in right twice. Um, and of course I can save the password if I want to now. So now it's gonna ask you to accept the end user license agreement, essentially saying you won't abuse the software, you'll use it appropriately, you won't share your patient, patient information, uh, HIPAA, etc. So uh, scroll to the bottom, you'll check yes on that box. Yes, I accept the matrix uh, care site terms and conditions. You hit continue. Okay, so now it's going to pop up here, and of course, uh, a poor redirect there. Um, and so this is what it's going to look like when you log in. So um, from here, we can discuss what it looks like to clock in. So we can go to your schedule. It'll pull up in a shift. In this case, I s assigned myself to a designated interim shift. I'm going to go ahead and click to select that shift. And then, very simple check-in it's right there it's right on the main screen okay so um, when it pops up I'm gonna say okay you can use my location um, now the first time you do that it's gonna say location not correct um, it's because it didn't have access to um, my location I hadn't given it that permission yet um, 
so I mean technically I could hit retry ch check in here but um, that might not that feature might not work all the time it might show up as this uh, location not correct um, you don't oh uh, the other problem is is I'm uh, a little bit of a distance away from my client so anyway um, the check-in is still going to work. It's just going to flag it as me being too far away from the location that I'm supposed to be at. So, anyway, so I've I've clocked in. I I work my shift. I'm done, um, and so now I'm going to look look to check out. Right. So if I hit check out here, um, it's going to clock me out. Um, this check has one or more issues. Oh, okay. It wants me to have these uh, completed tasks. Mileage, scheduled time is more than three hours away. So, I'm uh, there's some issues here, right? I've got to complete my charting. Um, if there was mileage to be recorded, I have to do that. And then, uh, scheduled time is more than three hours away, meaning I'm not supposed to clock out till 10, 10 o'clock tonight. But so if I click on the tasks, um, I can complete those um, for. Every facility you, you'll have, there'll be some tasks there that you'll have to complete. So uh, I can record those. And then um, there is no mileage, so I don't need to be putting that in. Let's see if it'll let me. Uh, um, so anyway, I can still check out even though I'm outside of some parameters. But um, And so I'm going to hit next here. Um, I'm going to certify yes. I certify that those times are accurate. I can put notes in here if I wanted, um, you know, for whatever reason. Um, maybe, maybe I completed earlier. They sent me home early, or you know, whatever. So um, I'm gonna hit next again. Now it asks for a caregiver pin here, so um, you can hit skip um, or next here. Let's see what I'm gonna hit next. It's gonna ask for a pin is invalid. I can also hit skip, um, and then of course uh, um, it offers it to give us a client signature. Um, here you'll want to get a signature from the client or the facility or assisted living that you're at. Have the uh, the charge nurse, the DON, or the CNA coordinator sign you out here. So they would, uh, uh, you'd turn your device sideways, <coughs> then um, uh, press on there, and then they can sign, right? So they can give their sign, right? Um, so they can sign that right there on your phones. Um, and then accept. Okay, so <coughs> of course it's going to say um, that my location was not correct and that I didn't enter the pin. Um, so that's this. The pin is basically your signature. So we'll need to create that pin for that to work. But um, so for now, I'm going to hit complete. Right. So I'm done. I've clocked out. Now let me show you how to create that signature pin. So you can click this little guy up here um, on the top right. Um, I can go to manage signature pin. I can put my current password in. Um, and let me hurry and throw that in. And then I can just put in whatever pin I want. Um, I don't use your strong password here. If you've already used that for your login, don't do it again because it's going to uh, attach that to the app.sonetto.net um, website. So don't do that. I decline to do that here. Okay, so now I'll just create a, a pin, um, any four digit numerical pin you want. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to do one, two, three, three, four, but use whatever you want here um, and then change pin. And now I have a pin. And you can. Um, uh, here, I, I typically just decline to save this to my passwords because I've seen some issues with people doing that and then it uh, tries to log them in with their PIN when they try to log into Matrix. So um, so anyway, go back to my schedule um, and I'm pretty sure it won't let me, uh, yeah, it won't let me adjust that with my PIN. But So anyway, you, you've seen how to get into Matrix, you've seen how to um, uh, view your schedule, you've seen how to clock in and out, you've seen how to uh, create a signature pin. Um, hopefully you were kind of following along there with your own um, uh, login there and hopefully you're able to get in and, and, and have access to everything. So um, there will be another training video for you to watch in regards to doing charting. For those of you that uh, do home care for us, 
um, that'll be a little bit more important. The facilities you'll you'll go ahead and chart in their in their facility or their assisted living. Um, but for some of the other stuff that we do um, in regard to home care, uh, there there is a little bit more to the charting. But I'll cover that in a in a separate training video. So one other thing I wanted to show you guys is um, how to um, let me uh, let me just close out of this for a minute. Um, because what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to uh, save um, matrix. Um, so I'm going to pull matrix up again. Of course, let me just sign out of this actually. Um, I'll come back to the screen. So let me get rid of this guy on the bottom. Um, so say I want to save this right here as kind of an app on my phone, right? Um, maybe not an app, but um, bookmark it, so to speak, on my home screen. So down at the bottom on the iPhone, there's this little square. Uh, right in the middle on the on the bottom a square with an up arrow so I'm going to click that and then I'm going to slide these across here on the bottom okay and I'm going to go to add to home screen okay and so this is going to save this uh, to my home screen okay so uh, right here is matrix care I can use it and have it function more like an app those of you that are using Android or other devices uh, I'm pretty sure Android in the top right there's three dots that you can click on and then go down and select add to home screen um, so it's a little bit different for those that are using Android devices um, but try to figure it out on your own device most smart most smart devices smartphones do allow you to save it to your home screen you can also save it to your bookmarks uh, just someplace where it is easily accessible so anyway guys um, Thank you. Um, let us know if you have any questions with Matrix. Refer back to this video if you ever have troubles logging in. Um, and anything else, just uh, give us a call here at the office. Thanks.